Okay, welcome back to my let's play of Pathfinder Wrath of the Righteous. I was about to say Crusader Kings, and I'm like, wait a minute. Sort of, but no, not really. Yeah, Wrath of the Righteous. So, um, in my spare time here, I've been doing a lot of Crusade stuff. Um, quite a bit. In fact, I'm nearly done. Um, I've nearly conquered every bit of land that I can. And in fact, I think I have co conquered every bit of land that I can. I think there's one last section that you can't access yet. I suppose that would make sense. Um... I don't even know why I'm bothering with this, but I am. Anyways, uh, so if we look at the map, you can see I've conquered quite a bit. The only thing left is this section down here. I don't think you can even see my mouse cursor, but this section in the lower left, Castle of Desires, is in there. Cave Citadel. I mean, I have forts in there. Castle of Desires is even upgraded, but I don't own the thing because there's still some... There's still one left here. And if I scroll over to it... Um... You can see that there's really no way to access these last few armies. Um, I've tried. I've gone to every different spot to try and sneak in there. Um, yeah, this is this is is right. So I feel like you have to take that. I think I guess I could look it up as usual. Um, I don't even know what these regions are called. I don't know if they have region names or anything. I think they do, but... Um... The Wounded Lands? Go south from Ivory Sanctum, or go one node to the right, one node down, and then west from Terendilev's lair. Um, yeah, unfortunately, they don't show any of these landmarks. Oh, they, they do. Hold on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Where the fuck is the Ivory Sanctum? Oh, there's Tarendalev's lair. Go oh, one node right, one node down, then west from Tarendalev's lair. Yeah, okay. Well, yeah, I mean, I can get into the Wounded Lands. That was never a question. Unless there's some spot here that I just haven't... It hasn't actually, like become visible hold on let me use that real quick uh all right let's finish this up then yeah so my army is insane by the way as you can see we're level 14 oh we're actually gonna get to do a battle all right so yeah between the time warp and just automatically adding a bunch of units to all my units <laughs> Um, it's been kind of ridiculous. Um, and this spell, Overwhelming Shout, has been by far the best. Just being able to stun a group of targets. 
And then 1,800 of these fucking marksmen just obliterates everything. I mean, nothing, nothing survives. Um, it's a little ridiculous. And if they get like, yeah, they get multiple turns. And then if they have high morale and they get a bonus turn. Yep, there you go. I mean, it's like easy mode. There's no challenge anymore. Um, and I absolutely have had the marksmen just wipe out an entire army before they even get a turn. Yeah, I think we can just fast forward there. And the assassins are also pretty fucking nuts because they can teleport anywhere and uh, they do an obscene amount of damage. So yeah, I basically won the crusade mode. Um, yeah, also... I don't know if logistics is maxed out yet. We have to wait for another event. Uh, I'm not sure. It should be maybe not maxed out, but it's like, I mean, it's not difficult. Oh, there you go. All of them flee. The last demonic line of defense standing in the way of the crusade fell. Line ahead is threshold. Oh, is that what this is? Okay. I mean, I'll just do it. I guess I'll save. In case I lose my whole fucking big army. That would be a big setback. This one does have a general, which is the problem, because he can just Scorching Ray my archers before I get a chance to do anything. Um, okay. Well, the Baylors are going to suck. Unless I get up in his grill. Yeah, so we just lost a lot of stuff. But I want to hit something that's going to hit me this turn. Nice. Yeah, I think we got this. Yeah. All right, it's done. We actually took some casualties, which is shocking. Throughout all this time and all these conquests, I never actually lost any unit. Uh, um, I had some die, like a few, but they all got recovered. So I've never actually lost anything until now. Uh, we lost 200, 260 archers. Yeah. But there you go. I've conquered the demons. Pretty good, I should say. I feel like at that point, like what what is the game? What's the what's left? <laughs> this army could just stand here and by the entrance and just destroy. Using the world wound is a garbage dump. Oh, logistics XP. I like that. Ooh, I get twenty five thousand gold. All right. Ember was convinced that the mages meant no harm. No one had taught them that littering is bad. That's all. Brilliant. The army of the champions of the abyss gathered by Kor Koramzada was thought to be invincible. The crushing defeat delivered by the commander has demonstrated the folly of this belief. The greatest, fiercest, and proudest warriors of the abyss have been put down, put into the dry Sarkorian ground, thus proving that even demonic rage can't bring down the fearless defenders of Galarian. 
Yeah, we're pretty good. Heroic victory achievement unlocked. sweet home i don't know if i need to recruit anything else but why not better safe than sorry right yeah uh all right then we're just waiting 14 days for this uh, requisition thing which was a logistics decision and then we'll see if i have to do any more logistics or not or if i'm completely done with this mode but anyways, on the other side of things, the non-crusade stuff. Um, yep. This is a triumph for all of Galarian. We've made it clear to every plane out there that we can repel an attack by any opponent. We've taught the demons a lesson they won't soon forget. Troops are still in the process of tallying up the spoils, and the battlefield looks like a blood-soaked treasure vault. The demons learned that it was dangerous to mess with those mad Galarians, so they splurged on the best gear. It's all ours now, and we need to decide what to do with it. Okay, so... Commander gains Arm to the Teeth feat, which provides a plus three luck bonus to damage. Hmm. Uh, Doom of Demon's Feet provides a plus three luck bonus to attack. Or Favor of the God's Feet, plus three luck bonus to AC. I don't really attack or damage specifically, so I guess I'll just take the AC, although even that's not that amazing. What I'm about to say may be inappropriate, even unacceptable, for an officer speaking to their superior, but I am proud to serve you. When I was a boy, I imagined myself as a general who would give back to the armies of Mendev their unstoppable might. Then I grew up and left those childish fantasies behind. But then you appeared, and they weren't childhood fantasies anymore, and I was even able to participate. Could I dream of anything more? Never. This is unacceptable for someone to say to their superior? Good work, Commander. Yeah, from Regal, yeah! Commander, it is an honor for me and for all of your officers to serve in your army. Oh, he had a quest. I was supposed to talk to him before. <laughs> Damn it. I completely forgot about that. All right. So we got... Uh, favor of the Gods. Okay. So, I respect Taco B twice. Fucking twice. Um, so, first of all, I respect into abjuration for dispelling. And I was like, okay, I'm going to go into dispelling. And I looked online to see if anyone had, like, a, a dispelling sorcerer build or, a, you know, something with Aeon or something like that. And I found a dispelling Aeon build on YouTube, and uh, it intrigued me because it didn't use Sorcerer, it used Wizard. Specifically, an Exploiter Wizard. Um, and the reason for that is very simple. Um, the Exploiter Wizard gets an Arcane Reservoir that just replenishes every day to a certain amount, and you can spend these points to do little, like, you know, little spells. Not little, per se, uh, but tricks, exploits. So one of the things that you could do is, like, greater spell resistance. When you use this, you gain spell resistance equal to 11 plus your Arcanist level. Um, well, not your Arcanist level, your wizard level, but... Um, so I'd gain 28 spell resistance, which is pretty good. Um, what was another one I got? Armored Mask. Uh, I get a Mage Armor spell with a caster level that's equal to my wizard level. 
If I already have Mage Armor active, I instead get Shield of Faith spell. Uh, energy Shield. Uh, I get protected from energy damage. I have to pick one energy type and gain resistance 10 against the energy type for one minute per level. This protection increases by five for every five levels you possess. So I would actually gain uh, resistance 25, say, against fire for a minute. Or actually for 17 minutes. So that's pretty great. Um, but the most important one, and the reason you picked this build, is because of potent magic. This lets you uh, either increase the caster level of a spell by 2. Or the DC by 2. And, you know, that's not much. It's not amazing, but it's good. And you're going to want to do that a lot. Um, beyond that, uh, you know, the build is fairly similar. No matter what kind of spellcaster you're building, you're going to be taking a lot of the same stuff. You're going to be taking spell focus and spell penetration and probably abundant casting and... You know, things like that. Uh, we still, of course, have all our Aeon stuff, which is all good. Um, but I noticed when I was respecting Enforcing Gaze Energy Shield. This grants all my allies energy resistance to all energy types, or Acid, Cold, Electricity, Fire, and Sonic, equal to 5 per your Mythic rank. So, energy resistance fire of 40 throughout the whole combat. That's going to be pretty big. Um, you know, it's unfortunate I have to wait until combat starts before I can cast that, but still. Um, so then, yeah, spell book. Obviously, we've got uh, Dispel Magic Greater. We have a bunch of meta magic. We have Selective, we have uh, Heighten, and we have Persistent, so that's all good. So I've got a Dispel Magic Raider that's been heightened to level 9, because Wizards do get um, higher level spells sooner than Sorcerers. So we do have level 9 already. So we've got that heightened to level 9. We have Heroic Invocation! We can cast it! At, w at will! Um, that's going to be awesome, because that's such a good spell. And we have Tsunami as a Conjuration Attack spell. Uh, all creatures on a, along a 50-foot line. And uh, they take 24 D6 points of bludgeoning damage. Fortitude half. Not affected by spell resistance. And you have to uh, make a check or be knocked prone and carried along by the wave. So, I haven't tried it yet. We'll see how fun that is. Um, we also specialized in Dismissal a bit. Because, obviously, we're dealing with a lot of demons. So, we've got Dismissal. It's been heightened up to level 8 and Persistent. So that uh, they have to check twice. Uh, I grabbed Sea Mantle. Because this makes you actually immune to fire. Which is pretty good. Um, along with, you know... AC bonuses, reflex saves, things like that. That's pretty much it. Um, so it's Conjuration, Abjuration. We just dropped Enchantment entirely. Um, we still have Sirocco just because I think it's good. But, um, yeah. So the reason I had to respect twice was the first time I didn't grab Selective. Because I was like, uh, I don't know, what am I really going to use Selective on? You know, I don't have, like, my enchantment stuff anymore, so what do I... And I have the Aeon thing for area effects, so how much do I really care? Well, first of all, Selective can be used on stuff that is not necessarily instantaneous. And it's really weird. I don't know if it's a bug, because I think in the tabletop this would never be allowed. But you can actually use Selective on, like, Grease. Even though it's, a, you know, it lasts a long time. Lasts 17 minutes. But here I have a selective heightened grease. 
And it'll tell you if, like, you can't use a meta magic on a spell, like, if it doesn't apply. But you can use it on Sirocco. Like, why? I know it has an area effect, but it's not a duration of instantaneous. So I feel like it's a bug, but I don't know. So I've taken the time to... Uh... So I guess, uh, I guess I could just make Sirocco selective and we could enjoy it. Even though I think it's against the law. <laughs> it's against the law. <laughs> Uh, um, so let me just do that. There you go. Um, so anyways, I, I wasn't sure about needing selective because I was like, eh, I don't know what I'm really going to use it on. And I can't use it on like the Aeon spells, even though people have said to put it on the Aeon spells. And then afterwards, I was like, why do people keep saying to put it on the Aeon shit? Uh, you, it's not in your spell book. And that's when I realized... Oh, I'm a dumbass. This is the wizard spell book. You have to go to the Aeon spell book. And, uh, yeah, sure enough, you can meta magic your Aeon spells. Because I'm a big dumb person. So, um, yes, we do have zero state that is selective. Um, unfortunately, the Aeon spell book is lagging behind, so I can't actually heighten it as well. Although that would be a very good candidate because a heightened selective zero state is going to be pretty insane. So I had to respec a second time to grab selective once I realized that because I'm. Yeah, selective is just too good on this spell. It's worth it's worth taking that beat alone. Um. So, yeah, wizard obviously works a little different. You. For the sorcerer, you just have a number of level three spells. And no matter what spells of level three you're casting, you have a certain number per day. Whereas wizard, you have to assign each spell however many times you want to cast it per day. And they are each an independent number. So we can cast three grease a day, two acid pits, two dismissals, two rift of ruins so on and so forth so it encourages a little bit more flexibility although you can just fill your spell book with like one spell if you want anyways uh the other thing that i found out was that i had missed the best staff in the game and uh, it was in the ivory sanctum which was ages ago act three and fortunately you can go back and get it which i did it was in a hidden compartment. You had to have a high perception check to see, and then you had to have a high trickery check to open it. Uh, but fortunately, that wasn't too tough nowadays. So here it is. The, um, the quarter staff of the War Mage adds plus two to the DC for all saving throws against spells the wielder casts and a plus four bonus to overcome spell resistance. Yeah, you're not going to find much better than that. Uh, so that was very good. Um, other new things that I got, um, I don't know. I don't think I got anything new here. Not really. Um, Lan got a new weapon, Greater Frost Dragonbane Hand Axe plus five. Does some solid damage. Why not? Uh, oh yeah, I forgot about the Hammer of Masterpiece. What exactly is the buff there? Oh yeah, plus three circumstance bonus to attack and damage rolls for an hour. Yeah, let, make sure to put that in Arushale. Um, I think that's kind of it on LAN. Darren, I don't think got like anything new. Arushale got a couple rings. Zyoris's beauty. If the companions of the wearer of this ring attack the same target as the wearer, they deal an additional 1d6 points of precision damage with each successful melee attack. They also gain a plus two circumstance bonus on attack rolls against this target. I figure why not, but uh, ring of evasion. You automatically get basically the evasion ability. And if you make your reflex saving throw to determine whether you not take half damage, 
A successful save results in no damage. It's pretty nice. Uh, but best of all, pristine mind. Whenever the wearer of this belt of physical perfection plus four, so that's plus four to all your physical stats, makes an attack roll to confirm a crit, it automatically succeeds. So all your crits automatically confirm. Uh, which is fucking phenomenal. So that's, that's just great. Um, Regal, I don't know if he got anything new. Probably not. Uh, uh and Sila, I don't think so. Oh, maybe I got a new armor I could equip on her. Oh yeah, Breastplate of the Tireless Warrior. Adamantine plus five, immunity to fatigue and exhaustion. Um, it's actually less armor class, but adamantine's really nice. And she doesn't need that high of armor class when she's mounted. I think that's pretty much everything that I can think of. So, uh, we're ready to go take on Mephistopheles for real. I mean, admittedly, like, some of my choices here have kind of been made just with the idea of defeating Mephistopheles. But, uh, you know. Oh, also, building more teleport locations is very nice. Really helps getting around quickly. As you would imagine. The Skeletal Salesman. Um... What is spot wearing for barding? Frozen scales, medium. Uh, but this has a higher dex bonus. This is probably better. Yeah, we'll buy that. Uh, beyond that, I don't know. Summon Elder Worm. It's pretty cool. Um, yeah, I don't know. A lot of stuff that I've sold in the past. It's ring grants, acid resistance 30, fire 20, electricity 10, cold 5, plus 4 bonus. Oh, okay. <laughs> Very curious little ring. Uh, probably not bad for this fight. Uh, I had a helmet, didn't I, that I thought was like, this would be good for a wizard, but unfortunately sorcerer is just better. Uh, and now I'm a wizard, and I think I sold that, and I don't know where I sold it. So that's awesome. Really fantastic stuff. All right. Just ran into that merchant. All right, let's rest. If you want to survive, you need to hone your self-control. I can offer you some advice. <laughs> a hell knight teaching a paladin? Sounds like the start of a bad joke. Yeah, I mean, if you say so. Regal fucking consistently outperforms you, but sure. So, oh god, there's a lot of buffing to be done. Mm. 
there's a lot of buffing to be done first of all let's get on our mounts we don't want to fuck that up wise hmm all right um so let's see my worth We'll want to put on Rager's Bond before we move in. That'll be important. Uh, frightful Aspect. Bless. Uh, protection from Fire. Blessing of Luck. Yeah, I like to save the uh, one per round per level stuff. All that, you know, it lasts like 17 rounds now when I cast it. Uh, a protection from evil, protection from law. I still don't know if it stacks. I'm I think that's all good there. Rely on me. Decide already. Uh, Lan, however, has this. So we want to make sure to put that on uh, Arushale. That's an hour. Okay, put it on Regal. And put it on yourself. Okay, good. That's good. Um... Do you have anything that would be good? Oh, there's the aura. Doesn't say how long it lasts. But sure. Uh, okay. Taco B. I don't think there's any buffs no, i think all my buffs are on this page so heroic invocation of course sea mantle uh greater heroism plus four morale bonus on attack roll save skill checks immunity fear effects temporary hit points we definitely want it on ruchele and i'll put it on um regal then, um, honestly, Edict of Predetermination on Arushale probably isn't bad, but I really want her to crit, so fuck it. Um, do we already take protection? We took for protection. We need resistance. Uh, but I want to do energy shields because that's pretty good good um i don't know if i have any other buffs specifically that i want to apply to people uh i could put spell resistance on myself that does not last many rounds though uh, do we want to summon something real quick? Some gold? Go no, maybe just the adamantine golem. I think he actually got some hits in. Um, it's kind of that. Where's resistance? I welcome your company. Who has resist? Did I not take resistance? <laughs> Resist energy communal area. Okay. Um I don't know that be ready for the worst. It's probably it for the longer stuff. Just yet. So now we want to do shorter stuff like burst of glory. And holy aura. And what was the other stuff? Are we in trouble yet? 
Oh, skip the pleasant trees. I don't have to sway from my path. Uh, right, Rangers bond, but put sense vitals on. And I'll do it. Together, we stand. Put divine favor on, even though I don't think it stack. Oh, it might stack. Um, was that it? It might be it. I think we're gonna hope that's it. Okay, then. Part with everything to Ranger spawn. All right, here we go. Allow me to keep my lovely, irresistibly beautiful ranks. Close ranks. Oh boy. Arushale first. Well, I can't say I'm uh, displeased with that. Oh, uh, God, no. Land. Wow, we actually all went. Wow, why did we all get to go on a surprise round? How does that work? How would you get a surprise round? I don't know. I'm not going to complain. Uh, maybe I don't attack. Maybe I quarry him instead. Uh, Darren. Move to the side. Um, anything specific that I'd like to say? Should I just bone shatter? Failed to overcome spell resistance. Okay, Taco B. That's pretty awesome. Um, okay, we've spread out a bit. Energy shield. I guess that's about all I'm going to get. Kneel before me. Okay. challenge evil and mark of justice is immune to challenge evil why well all things considered <laughs> did you see that Yeah, that's pretty shit. I'll be honest. I'll be honest. That's pretty shit. You won't survive me. This one's mine. This one moves. The light take you. <laughs> You are nothing before me. Man, it's rough. Because it's like I stacked resistances and everything, but his fire goes right through all of that. I even had energy shield on and just nothing. That survived worse. So that was like the worst attempt by far. I don't care if he smokes Darren, but if he smokes Arushale and Taco B in the first turn, uh, we're in very rough shape. I'm not sure why we got a surprise round. I wonder if that kind of fucked me over for some reason. But we got it again, so... 
I don't know what to do. Look at how many buffs we have. Resist fire, protection from fire, none of that means donkey dick. And I don't even know what to do to him with Darren. He just dies. He just fucking dies. The light take you. Retreat is not an option. But I can't... Oh, I can do zero state, but not as a selective. Oh, I can do selective zero state. Even though it says full round. Oh, now I can't. Well, shit. Should I still go with energy shield even if it doesn't, like, actually protect them from anything? Maybe relativity of space for those fucking archers. I probably should have made myself immune to, like, physical damage. Whoops. Um... So I'm making my quarry. Go! All right, well, that could have been worse. Oh, my God. Oh, I got one. Nice. Um, all right, just smack away. Guide my blade. Fuck me. Oh, yeah, spot. Kneel before me. <laughs> Fucking Sirocco. Oh, God. That's bad. This is not my time yet. How am I doing worse? That's what I'd like to know. How the fuck am I doing worse than before? going so I still can't do my zero state because I don't have a full turn I can do a normal zero state but that'll dispel everybody um, I could get out of this shit
and then I could make it so that someone's immune to physical damage like me <laughs> Fuck, I five foot stepped out of range. Desna, guide my God damn it. Well, the resist stuff is still working. It's just so fucking stupid. You have a devil. He has volcanic storm and fire storm and hellfire ray. And none of it counts as fire damage. What the fuck? That's so stupid. This is like the one perfect time when all of this like immunity to fire or resist fire actually does something or should do something and it doesn't because he's Mephistopheles so I don't know how to protect I don't know how to protect us I don't know how to avoid this catastrophe the light take you well, let's try protection from area effects. Maybe that'll do something. And I'm gonna make myself immune. There's just, there's no more protection that I can use and cast freedom of movement on you. Will that help? Yeah, no surprise there. Okay, that was good. We might actually get a turn here. Holy shit. All right, we might actually get a dispel. Should I delay? Maybe I should delay. Oh, I can't delay. I already did something. I'm an idiot. Yep, that's about right. Okay, you delay. All right, here we go. No, I didn't put on the goggles. Uh, well, they don't count for zero state anyways. That's fine. Okay, zero state. I can move five feet and still do it. I dispelled shield, echolocation, and that's it. So I didn't get rid of his shield of faith. I didn't get rid of heroism. And I didn't get rid of mage armor, but getting rid of shield is already a pretty big thing. That's because I rolled a 20. So I needed to roll a 14 or higher to get rid of everything. That's still not great odds. I don't think it's the auto win button that people said it was. The inheritor, guide my blade. Yeah, doesn't seem so. Oh, but a Rushle hitting on like an eight and a four is pretty good. You've crossed the wrong mountain. Oh man, land just going ham. That's pretty nice. Oh, no, 
Strongs. This is not my time yet. All right, could be worse. Let's take off fighting defensively. Oh, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. oh that's the stuff. Okay, Taco B actually has another turn. Oh, I forgot to use my fucking reservoir. I could do Tsunami, but I'd hit so many of my own people. I could do Banishment, but I think we really want to take down this guy. So let's do this. Uh, I didn't get anything. Wow. Really? I only have plus 20 to it? <laughs> So I couldn't dispel anything. I'm specced for abjuration. I'm specced for abjuration. I have spell specialization in dispel magic greater. I have arcane reservoir and fucking Aeon's Bane up. And even if I rolled a natural 20, I wouldn't dispel a single thing. Well, that tells you how much better fucking zero state is. I'll tell you that. But fuck me. No glory without risk. Huh? All right, come on. Come on. There you go. Oh, come on. No. All oh, those rolls. You won't survive me. Endure this. I thought you to Okay, we have to do uh swift cast heal mass. That gets us back to where we should be. Um and then maybe just try another banishment. If I can get rid of like a one or two of these bastards, we might be able to do it. He's close. 89 health. I've survived worse. Oh, yeah, so Die Hard is working. Oh, there's Sirocco. Oh, no. Oh, boy. Come on. Arushale. Regal. Yes. Yes. We did it. I thought you didn't want. To. Oh, my God. We did it. Holy shit, that's... If that's not the hardest fight in the game, then... I don't know what is. Robe of Mephistopheles, Cinder Goggles, ring, another Ring of Evasion, Bracers of Armor, plus eight. Eat my dickhole, Mephistopheles. Thought you could challenge an Aeon. <laughs> well, you certainly could most of the time. All right, um, an axiomatic trident plus five. 2d6 extra chaotic, elder flaming burst, bypasses any resistance or immunity to fire the target might have, and it's unholy, but we don't usually fight good stuff. That might be worth taking a look at. In most respects, I think it's not good. And unfortunately, I don't know exactly what Flaming Burst does. Let me just check. So that's an extra 1d10 on a crit. Hmm. It's hard to say. No, 
I think we mostly want bigger crits, higher, you know, higher multipliers. Uh, okay, so that was good. Uh, another ring of evasion. Honestly, it's probably better than the back-to-back -back rings. I think Regal has the other one. Uh, okay, then we have... We got an amulet. I think it was Agile Fists. We got another Bracers plus eight, but everyone uses armor except for Taco B. So I don't think I would care to do that. And then we got the robes and the goggles. Once per combat, these goggles allow their wearer to cast Hellfire Array using their character level instead of spell level as a free action. Damn. That's probably pretty good. Oh yeah, I also got this. Just do 10d10 sonic damage as a standard action to a single target three times per day. Fortitude save half. I need to... Let me just... The waiting's never fun. Just put these things on here. So I don't forget. Okay, and then the, uh, the robe. Grants wear an aura, which makes all enemies in a 30-foot radius suffer a minus four penalty on saving throws against fear, compulsion, and charm effects. Oh man, if I was still an enchanter... Once per day, wearer of this robe can make all enemies in a 30-foot radius pass a will saving throw. On fail, they lose their minds, become hostile to everybody, and start attacking targets indiscriminately for one minute. Well, that's pretty fun. Sure. Uh, that was everything. Yeah, okay. And uh, we leveled up. So that's fun. Spell specialization. I'd love to pick zero state, but I can't. Because you can't... I don't know why specifically. I think you have to have spell focus... So you can't spell focus into Aeon spells, even though I probably would. Um, so I guess we'll stick with Dispel Magic, right? But I'm not even sure if it's worth spell focus on this. Because, fuck it. Pick Dismissal. Another level 9 spell. Um, honestly, I could take Summon Monster 9. The, the only level 9 Abjuration spell is Mind Blank Communal, which affects all party members for four hours, grant a plus eight resistance bonus on saving throws against all mind-affecting spells and effects. It's probably worth doing because it has a four-hour duration. Um, and then we could take Clashing Rocks, create two colossal-sized masses of rock, dirt, and stone, slam them together against a single creature between them. Must make a ranged touch attack. Ignore Concealment, 20d6 points of bludgeoning and knock prone. They miss the target, still 10d6 points of bludgeoning damage from falling rocks and knock prone. Successful reflex save reduces this damage to half and the target remains standing. Creatures other than the target occupy space for the Clashing Rocks appear within the path, must also make reflex saves or take 10d6 points of bludgeoning damage from knock prone. It's just a little too... a little too much specifics. Icy Prison Mass would probably be pretty fun, even though I'm not spec for evocation. Um, or hold Monster Mass. I probably have enough summons regardless. So let's try Icy Prison Mass. I don't even know if I'll put it on, but we'll see. I leveled up again. Holy shit. Mephistopheles gave him a stupid amount of XP. Man, what a tough fight, though. 
Um, yeah. Oh, I don't know. I thought about taking like destructive dispel or dispel synergy. Maybe dispel synergy would be okay. If you successfully dispel an ongoing magical effect on an opponent, they take a minus two penalty on saving throws against your spells for one round. It's not the worst. Um, because really, I don't know what else I'm gonna take that I would care about. So, sure. I could take Spell Focus Evocation, but... Meh. Or Die Hard is good, too. Hmm. Um, yeah, still Dismissal. Another two level 9 spells. I guess it doesn't matter too much. Um, so I'm not gonna assign these in my spell book. All right, two levels, Jesus. Um, blind fight would probably be good. Critical focus. Indomitable mount. Train style. It's hard to say because it's like the the horse is a tank. Seal is not necessarily a tank. I don't know. I'll go for blind fight. Then another level in Gendarme. Um. Bleep, 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 bleep. Try critical focus. Regal. Was I starting to go up Sacred Huntmaster? I don't... I don't remember. Shit. Was I continuing up Sohei? I don't think I would dip one level into Sacred Hunmaster. So I must have been going up this hard for me to remember. There's <laughs> a lot of a lot of things going on. Um Blind fight or die hard or greater two weapon fighting. How do I not have this? I guess doesn't say it's like a thumbs down decision, so. I don't care about any of these spells. Okay, how many attacks does he get now? Nine? He gets nine attacks plus his horse's attacks. And his horse attack gets like another three. So 12 attacks whenever Regal does the full thing. That's quite a few. I guess we may as well level up our horsies. Um, uh, probably... Is Crane Wing good? I think so. Not sure why I never took Crane Wing. And you are fighting defensively, right? Why are you not fighting defensively? Hmm, questionable. You are. You're doing your job. I'm 
improved critical on bite or combat reflexes. These are good things. Let's go for combat reflexes. Okay, a Rouchelle. Boop, 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 boop. Fine. Ooh, feral mutagen, preserve organs, spontaneous healing. No. Uh, when a crit or sneak attack is scored in the alchemist, there's 25% chance crit hit or sneak attack is negated and damage is instead rolled normally. That's not bad. Yeah, okay, we'll take that. Then another one. Uh, advanced weapon training. I don't think there's anything else. Well, I guess you could take like trained initiative, although her initiative's really good. You could buff up some saves. But, you know, I might rather just take Hammer the Gap because you start to get an obscene amount of attacks at this point. Probably. Sure. Hammer the gap. Then I get a bonus combat feat. Um. Blinding critical. That sounds fun. Or staggering critical. Fuck okay, it, just do blinding critical. I don't know. The struggles never cease. Yeah, okay. Darian. Isn't leveling fun? Level nine spell, huh? Well, he already has heal mass. Um, Winds of Vengeance sounds kind of good. Fly speed of 60 with perfect maneuverability. Uh, protects you from other wind effects. Form a shell of breathable air around you. Uh, total concealment against ranged attacks. And whenever you get hit with a melee attack, you have to take a fort saving throw or take 5d8 of bludgeoning damage and be knocked prone. Sure. Oh, gosh. Beats for him. We're running out. I think it's time to take stuff like saving throws or improved initiative. Or wings? Nah, I don't know. Um, okay, just grab, um, will saves? Sure. Um, Shield of Law is Chaotic Creatures. That's probably fine. I don't know, man. None of this stuff matters. Take Energy Drain. Finally land. Um, yeah. I think he's just a demon slayer at this point.
Grab, dodge. Bup, bup. And probably hammer the gap. Or let's not be too hasty. Dreadful carnage. This is persuasion. Shit. Okay, never mind. Don't take dreadful carnage. Improved blind fight. Improved crit. No, we don't want that. We're weapon agnostic. Yeah, I don't know. Um, how do I not have Die Hard? Oh, I have Last Stand, don't I? Yes. Okay, then probably just take um, Hammer the Gaff. And last but not least, Spot the Dog. Getting his little levels and his feet of combat reflexes. And there you have it. We're all done. Hot damn. That was a lot. I was looking, when I was looking at Mephistopheles discussions and like what builds and stuff people have used, um, someone said that they did it pretty easily with their uh, kineticist. We do it my Their blue flame kineticist. And someone else said, yeah, well, kineticist is basically like easy mode uh, for these games. And I'm like, huh. Because that's what I started as, well, and I specked out of it in the second video. Um, so maybe I should have stuck with Kineticist, although I hear it's not the most interesting playstyle. But it's like, you know, how interesting is like Regal's playstyle? But, you know, that's the thing, I guess. I wanted to have like one character that was really interesting to play as and had all these different choices for combat only demon who's decided to be good is it really so hard for your kind i guess most demons don't even consider the possibility i'm a little surprised mephistopheles didn't say anything when he died being like the toughest fight in the game and, uh, you know, being kind of a, an important character in the lore, I assume. Um, so now I'm a little like, okay, you know, I'm an abjuration wizard. I spec'd all that for that one fight, but I'd rather be an enchantment sorcerer. <laughs> but... You know, if Zero State does its job for other battles, then I'm not going to be too upset. But, yeah, Abjuration Wizard, not the most interesting build. Tell me, and I'll do it. Smile. The world's not ending just yet. Yeah, I very specifically... Okay, why are you not saddling up on your dog? What's wrong with your dog, bro? Oh shit, what's the problem? Oh, none of them mounted. Uh, apparently you can't mount if you're in a town. I didn't think Canaveras was a town again, but yeah, I guess it is. All right, here we go. The frigid haze covers the ground like fog. 
This distortion looks just like every other distortion. You feel the cold of the cosmos, and you hear muffled sounds coming from the other side. As you look closer, you can see some of the festivities in the main square. Bright flags flutter in the wind, and Terendelev is bending over a body. Your body. Oh, are we going to be able to save Terendelev? You feel the flow of time around you. Its swirling currents sweep you along like a maelstrom, carrying you into the past, toward this glowing moment in time that must be corrected. Will we save Terendal? I mean, that's pretty big. are not enough here. Someone call for Terendelev. You there. Yes, you. Stop dithering and gawping and make yourself useful. Go and get Terendelev. Prelate, surely there is somebody else here better suited to running errands. I'll get her. Terendelev! Has anyone seen Terendelev? Be quick about it before it's too late. Now, who are you? I don't remember seeing you before, and I have an excellent memory for faces. I'm a traveler. I was just passing by. Just passing by? And how am I to know that you're not a demon spy? Or worse! My dear prelate, please, for the sake of the festivities, stop interrogating this poor woman. She's been through enough already. Go on. I'll take care of her. All right, as you wish. Yeah, I mean, we've heard all this, so. Pry loose the grudging grip of pain. Cast off the veil of suffering flesh. Let light and life go forth in triumph to repel the skulking shade of death. There. Thank you for helping me. I accept your thanks, but my work is not yet done. Who are you? My name is Terendelev. I am the protector of the city. You don't believe Yeah, I mean, I definitely I said all these things. Certainly. But do not be discouraged. I greet you again, brave crusader. Do you prefer my company over the entertainments that have been provided? A tragedy is about to happen. Descari is going to attack Canabras. You will die and the city will be captured. Painful wounds and the horrors of war can often beget nightmares, but do not fear. You are safe. Demons can't reach you here. Even Discari is not all-powerful. Heed the words of an Aeon who knows the past and the future. Accept my aid in the upcoming battle against Discari. You know Terendelev will understand your message. She will see that your mortal shape, much like her own, are only conventions. You will show her what you see in the mirror. She will look into the eyes of the Aeon and see the universe. You have the eyes of a creature older than time itself. Your breath is as cold as the starlit des deserts that lie beyond this world. You truly are an Aeon. I sense that you are not giving me this warning because you care for me or for Canabras. You wish to undo this event because it conflicts with the world order. Even I cannot look you in the eye for long, but whatever your reasons for helping me, I am grateful. Together we will endure the coming storm. I am sure of it. Leave my city! Who dare stand 
turned against me, I recognize this power. Oh shit. This maggot will fall after a single swing of my sight. No eon is powerful enough to stop me. Okay. Um. Ow. Uh. Well, let's take a look here. Yep. Only a 54 AC. That's not too ridiculous. And damage reduction is uh, nowhere near as ridiculous. The saves are still pretty ridiculous. And the health is still pretty ridiculous. What about immunities? Not that it matters as much to me. Um, still not immune to stun, but it's such a rare, hard thing to do. Uh, um, not immune to mind affecting but he's immune to compulsion and he's immune to most of the stuff you'd care for. Um, We are not well buffed for this. <clears throat> I'll say that. Okay. Uh, Darren, we need to get out big buff. Probably Holy Aura is my best, biggest buff. And we can swift cast prayer. Or I could swift cast a heal on the Taco B. Also a solid option, because she's not going to get a turn. Because she's stunned. I don't think I can remove stun. Very, very little stuff can. So let's swift cast a heal. And then let's move away. Um, yeah, just wait. Oh, she did get a turn. Okay, wore off. Okay, that helps a lot. Let's just move away from that. Um, probably Relativity of Space is my best bet. Throw this on. I can put on Sea Mantle. Or I could summon something to distract Discari for a moment. Um, or I could launch a Tsunami at him. Oh my god. God, the range, the radius, the everything. I gotta see it. Okay, I did 43 damage. Probably not my finest hour. Um, go ahead and put... Um... Order of the God Claw. Ooh, a big dispel. All right. You've crossed the wrong monster. Yeah, that AC is low enough that we shouldn't have too much trouble. Okay. Uh, 
Um, yeah, I mean, I'd love to get some more buffs on, but I also want to just hit them. I'm pretty sure I already instant enemied him. And I think I did Ranger's Bond. Does that appear as a buff? Uh, am I really going to have to scroll through the log? Yes, I used instant enemy and ranger's bond. Okay, so I either do the attack or I start buffing. Uh, I just do it. Guide my hand. Oh, something. Okay. Um, we probably want to do more buffs, like prayer. Taco B. Do we want to summon or should I dispel? I think I should dispel. That's generally my best option. So let's use Arcane Reservoir and Zero State. Alright, I got rid of Unholy Aura and True Scene from him. I would have liked to have used my free action to go invisible. I guess I had to do that first. is not an option. Ah! All right. He dispelled Holy Aura from Regal and Freedom of Movement. From himself? <laughs> okay, uh, sure. You won't survive me. He's not immune to paralysis anymore. So that's good. Or probably stagger or things like that. So that's all pretty good. God, you are getting fucked. Oh, what happened with Sela? Make your peace. No! Our final confrontation will come, but not today, not here! God, after Mephistopheles, everything is just easy. Take that, Bughead! A mortal gnat snaps its jaws at the Lord of Locusts. So he had the power to just dispel me and send me back through time. Or I don't even know what he did. Yeah, I guess he did send me back through time. All right. I was told that you were in Canabra, so I hurried to the square. You're alive, and that means I managed to change the past. I remember the conversation we had before the battle. In your timeline, I was too weak and unprepared. I did not survive. The only reason I am alive today is because you saved me. But I've learned my lesson. Now I'm always prepared for a fight. I never let down my guard. What happened to Canabra after I saved you? After you disappeared, I continued to defend the city, even though Discari had wounded me severely. Fortunately, he could not summon the bulk of his troops from the Abyss. The Wardstone bought us the time we needed to survive. Once Discari realized he couldn't defeat us, he vanished, but his demons still poured into Canabras. It was a bloody battle, but the Crusaders managed to repel the invasion. The Crusaders have done their best to rebuild Canabras. The effort is still ongoing, but the progress is slow. Many of them left for Dresden, and that's where we moved the Wardstone. Unfortunately, I couldn't help with the rebuilding process. My wounds left me so weak I could barely move. I've been resting in my lair and regaining my strength. But when they told me you were here, I had to come see you. Sometimes I think about what would have happened if Discari had defeated me and claimed the Wardstone. 
I imagine Canabra's lying in ruins, but thanks to you, we managed to avoid this fate. I do not have the words to express my gratitude. I owe you my life, and so do many others. Hmm. What will you do now? Now that I have recovered from my wound, I will continue to defend the city. This is my duty. Canabras is vulnerable without the Wardstone. The city needs its champion. Thanks to you, I am prepared for the battles ahead. The balance of the universe is restored. There is nothing left for me to do here. Wait. After the battle against Iskari, a strange stone blade was found in the market square. The magic surrounding it is not, unfam is not familiar to me, but I feel that it is important. Please accept it. Commander, my gratitude is not just empty words. I will send you a band of Canabras' finest soldiers. Now that I have recovered from my wounds, I can once again defend the city. Ooh, and a mythic level up. Nice. It's really pretty fucking cool. Because in a lot of ways, it almost feels like the game was kind of designed... Like, the story was, like, almost written for an Aeon. Like, all of this is so well integrated for me, you know? And it's like, oh, yeah, fuck, you know, those tragedies that occurred. I'm gonna be able to right all these wrongs and make things good. And it's, like, just very cool stuff. But I imagine, had I been an Angel Path, or had I been, like, the Azada Path, or things like, you know, they would all have their own very unique things going on. It really makes me want to replay the game many times, long as it is. Oh, shit. I can take on the Aeon portrait. Oh, we gotta do that. We gotta go full Aeon. That's awesome. Um, okay. There's an argument for rupture restraints. There's an argument for last stand. I think there's even an argument for favorite meta magic selective i don't have a great deal of it but reducing that level cost would allow me to heighten everything an extra one that i have selective on such as zero state so making zero state more powerful is kind of good so let's grab it all right no new enforcing gazes um So, I don't know. Damage reduction could be good, except it's DRN chaotic. And it's just... We go up against too much shit that's chaotic. I feel like it would be useless most of the time. Um... So, I don't know. Oh, boy. Spells I really don't care about. None of these are going to be picked for any purpose in my spell book. It's a really nice thought, but... Not, nothing's... I even have most of these spells already. I don't know. Raider Restoration, I guess, maybe. But I'm not going to put it in my spell book different when you're a sorcerer and you can just be like okay i need a greater restoration here you go um all right so we got greater aeon's bane his first stack you try to automatically dispels an effect from the target that would be insane if i had any attacks but all of my spells and abilities can be used as a move action instead of a standard action that's pretty good as well um, all my allies gain immunity to all mind-affecting effects. <laughs> it's pretty good. Uh, we get to summon adamantine golems, two of them. Um, mythic suppression now is a no-save, so that's awesome. And, um, yeah, we gain some new spells. As a swift action, you grant all allies in a 30-foot radius the effects of Edict of Impenetrable Fortress and Edict of Perseverance. So that's no physical damage and no... I don't remember the other one. 
Uh, that's pretty good. That's pretty good. Black hole. It's a conjuration spell. Any huge or smaller creature standing at 20 foot range of the place where you've conjured the black hole can make a reflex save to safely jump to the nearest vacant space. Each effect creature must succeed on a fortitude saving throw or become entirely disintegrated. On a successful fort save, they instead take 80 divine damage. Any creature that avoids disintegration but stays in the black hole is dealt 10 divine damage per round. All creatures within a 20-foot range around the black hole are dealt 1d10 divine damage per round and are slowed. Oh my god, if I can make this selective? Holy fuck. Perfect form. You make your ally perfect in mental and physical aspects. If any of their ability scores before modifiers is less than their highest, they gain a bonus up to that number for one round per caster level. Wow. Wow. So I could put that on a Rushale and she would go up to 28 strength. pretty good and it's pretty good um i mean i really want to cast that a bunch and see just how good it could be um i can cast it on myself as well which would bump like my constitution up to 32 and my charisma up to 32 my wisdom up to 32 don't i have something based on wisdom Don't I have some effects somewhere that I was like, oh, if I only had more wisdom. Was that an item or was that a feat? God. Looking through all of it, it's gonna... I don't think it was a feat. I thought it was an ability, but... Oh, God. Who knows? Maybe I don't even have it anymore because I respect. So. Meh, who knows? Yeah. Oh, this. Bound of Possibility. Each round, enemies have to pass a will saving throw or be slowed for one round as per the slow spell. Um, so that's DC of 10 plus your mythic rank, which is 9, plus your wisdom modifier, which we could get up to 11. So that would be DC 30. That would be pretty good. My skills. But I'd have to... Uh... <laughs> Uh, I mean, it lasts 19 rounds. It's quite a while. So that's definitely a good pre-buff. I don't think we're going to get many uses out of it, but still. Um, but... We definitely want to put... Um, Edict of Invulnerability on our bar. And we'll want to put this on our bar. Somewhere. I want perfect form somewhere. I guess I might have to go to a fourth bar. Um, or is Starlight really that good? Actually, Cloud Kill. When the fuck am I ever going to cast Cloud Kill? And Black Hole. Yes. But, no, because I need to make that selective. Hold on. Black hole. Selective. Yep. <laughs> it's just, there you go. That seems a little insane to me, but uh, who am I to judge?
Who am I to judge at all? Also, we can then um, take zero states, make that selective, and heighten it <clears throat> up to seven. Because why not? So that's a pretty good spell. <laughs> Um, yeah, I mean, we could take a lot of things and make them selective. I could probably do Rift of Ruin. Um, I don't know if I need to bore you guys with all this stuff, but yeah, you can just take Rift of Ruin and make it selective. And there you go. Now you've got Selective Rift of Ruin. And we could do um, Tsunami, I guess. Why wouldn't you make Tsunami selective? For no cost whatsoever. It's just a far better spell. Yeah, basically. Oh, I actually have to... Yeah, we have to assign it to my spell book, of course. There you go. Um, I don't ever need Mind Blank Communal because all of my allies are just immune to mind-affecting spells. So that's great. Uh, throw that in there. Honestly, though, to spell Magic Greater, how often am I really going to use it? I'm not going to use it on trash, because why would I? And bosses, we have zero state, which if zero state doesn't do it, I'm not going to spend time trying to dispel magic crater. So, yeah, fuck that spell. Grab summon monster instead and more selective tsunamis, which is just fun. Uh, I'm sure there's more stuff I'm going to do, but I won't waste your time with it. Uh, Sela level nine mythic. Um, does she not have inspirational leader? Hmm, it's not as good anymore. Mind affecting effects. Uh, leading strike could be good. Thundering blow, or uh, unrelenting assault she could also take. But her problem is hitting stuff. There isn't much she can take to help with hitting stuff. So I don't really know. Yeah, I go for leading strike. Uh, Regal. Um, boy. Last stand. Ruchele is going to take... I still don't understand how Always a Chance could really ever be that good. I feel like best case is like a two-handed warrior, two-handed fighter. Where you'd get like one huge attack, and even if you did roll a one, it would still technically hit, but it's a critical miss. In that case, always a chance, I guess, but it's like, I don't know. Yeah, I don't, I don't know. Maybe I'm grossly misunderestimating it. And that... Very well could be, because I'm not very good at the game. But, um... I could take Exposed Vulnerability. Every third hit with a ranged weapon against the same enemy deals an additional 1d6 per 2 Mythic Ranks Divine Damage. That's essentially adding, what, 4d6 every third hit? Yeah, yeah. I'd rather take the bigger they are. Rupture Restraints or Last Stand. All of those are just kind of good. I 
feel like every character in the game benefits from last stand um speaking of darren do you have last stand you don't what well you're probably gonna take it and land land definitely has last stand so for him maybe also leading strike sure can't hurt oh boy that fucking aeon portrait it's a little derpy looking in some ways uh i'm not sure why i do what i must it has the essence of derp to it but it's also kind of cool Well, pretty good stuff. Pretty good stuff indeed. Achievement unlock transformation. Hells to the yeah. I mean, the, the Discari fight was really just a formality. If you beat Mephistopheles, you've earned your Aeon form. Crazy ass fight. Now let's go back to Dresden. Let's go to the Citadel. The reflected universe rotates, twisting into coils lit by distant stars. Your journey has changed you. You look at the spirals of galaxies entwined by the primordial design and realize your understanding of the cosmos has grown deeper. Your visit to the abyss and your contact with its chaos have granted you an understanding of the foundations of the universe. The world wound is no longer an inco as incomprehensible to you as it once was. You might even start to study it organize it bring order to its chaos any successful attempt to chart its manifestations would deal another blow to the world wound would you be able to map its planar rifts which seem to open at random is it possible to harness the paradoxical nature of the devastating storms would you come to understand how chaos energies influence materia and negate their influence which of these questions interests you the most I could recruit air elementals. The commander and her companions gain the corruption resistance feat, which provides one rest without increasing the level of abyssal corruption. After the commander had cleansed the corruption from themselves, they're resting at a safe place. Um, That's probably going to be good in like the whole final section of the game, which I imagine is just like deep in the world wound. Uh, Earth elemental creation. We gain corruption resistance. Oh, okay. So they all give that. Well, that's great. Um, but then I guess it's air elementals because they're already in my army, even though I've won the war. So doesn't matter. These storms may be born of the abyss, but they are woven of materia from your home plane. You will take advantage of this weakness. After all, materia is subservient to order. Okay, and another one. The mirror emits a cold light. It shines like a distant star. Familiar constellations and unknown celestial bodies sparkle like precious jewels. Names you have never heard before appear in your mind. This is Bretheta, the cradle of moons, resting its sapphire radiance. Here is fiery Leavara, imprisoned by its rings, and more. So many more. The past and the future join at the event horizon and collapse into timelessness. There, beyond the event horizon, you see the Aeon's shining eyes. The Aeon has been watching you from the very beginning. But now you feel that it is close. You sense that you are finally going to uncover its secret. Who are you? Who are you? Who are you? The question echoes in your mind. You are an Aeon, just like me. 
who asked the question and who answered it. You peer into the depths of the universe, trying to find the mind of the Aeon that has been guiding you on the path to absolute truth. But the cosmos is silent. All you see are the Aeon's shining eyes, unblinking and eternal. But you are determined. You have looked into the souls of sinners and saints, and now you turn your gaze to the Aeon. You stare into its eyes, and the Aeon stares back. I know you. I can see right through you. You see the moment of this Aeon's creation, but it is not a collision of galaxies, not a collision of cosmic ideas. You see blurry spots of light and hear muffled sounds. You feel the first pain and the first joy of a living being, its first fury and its first fear. A long string of memories, the screams of the fallen at the Grey Garrison, the defiled Wardstone, and at long last, Dresden. You see the banner soaring above the fortress, the dim corridors, and a mirror that suddenly starts to glow. This is how it all began. The Aeon in the mirror takes a step forward. The swirling constellations begin to fade, and through the nebula you can see the faint outlines of the room. Everything is made of stardust. The universe sees no difference between a giant ball of gas and the commander's table. It does not see a difference between an Aeon born from the cosmos and an Aeon born to mortal parents. Taco B exists in all places and all times. Taco B is eternal! When an Aeon is born, it is fully aware of its mission. No one guides or teaches it. No one looks after it. Only mortal creatures require the illusion of control, the illusion of a higher power watching over them. But you are an Aeon now, and your gaze pierces through the illusion. The Aeon is a guardian of order, but it also guards itself. It is always alone, yet at the same time, it never knows solitude. Listen to yourself and find the source of wisdom within. When you were in Canabras, you followed the Aeon's path. You corrected a grave injustice. But the fabric of time is capable of mending itself. It coils around itself like a snake biting its tail. The world wound is a huge distortion, and it must be corrected. You still have a chance to right this wrong. There is no other way. Damn. I am here to notify the commander that the restrictions on information sharing have been lifted. The Axiomite Godmind has witnessed the commander's ability to alter the past, and now acknowledges the commander as a true Aeon. The sum of my knowledge is now at the commander's disposal. Axiomites are Aeons made flesh. They are connected to Monad, the demigod of balance. Hmm. Your mind has finally joined the mind of Monad, and by extension the minds of all Axiomites. Their knowledge is your knowledge now. Hmm, okay. The God Mind is the transcendental council that governs Axis. The God Mind is composed of three shards that left Maelstrom, the whirlpool of energies, and fell onto the surface of Axis. The history of the Axiomites begins with this event. Hmm. Okay. Yeah, very enlightening. Okay. Whew. I'm gone. Um Yeah, we are We're doing all right.
All right, so if I cast perfect form on myself. Um, okay, we didn't quite get up to our heights there. It added eight. I assume there's some sort of calculation. What if I cast it again? Okay, no. Nothing different there. I mean, it's pretty good. I didn't quite get to plus 11 for wisdom, but pretty close. Yeah, I know, we're just resting a bunch. If you weren't an able healer, Noble, I would vote to have you expelled from the party. Fortunately, no one is holding such a vote. I love that he calls it a party, because it's not like a term that you would normally ever call, like, the commander's entourage. Um, it's just a term that's strictly used in, like, tabletop role-playing games. So it's just funny to hear him call it that. All right, so now if I cast it. Okay, even worse. So it doesn't, it bumps it up to the base value. Yeah, okay. So everything gets bumped up to the base value of your intelligence. And I don't know if there's any ways to increase the base value other than just leveling up and leveling, you know, leveling up. So it's good, but it's not like mind blowing. I don't, I mean, I could. Okay, so someone here used three perfect forms and managed to get 79 in all their stats. Um... This was a year ago. I wonder if it got patched. Because it, they, they're talking about using, like, belts and things like that to increase the buffs. So I think they probably patched it. Yeah. So, I mean, it's still, it's still pretty good. I'll still probably buff myself with it, but uh, not mind blowing. God, that's going to be awesome. We can only cast one of those a day, but oh boy, is it going to be good. That's going to be a lot of fun. Can we also do two? Oh, no, that's at level 10. You can do. Oh, no, it's sixth. We can do two. Oh my god. How did I not realize that? That would have been a lot better. At 10, you can do three gazes simultaneously. And you automatically roll 20 on all saving throws against chaotic creatures. And your spells and attacks ignore damage reduction, energy resistance, and immunities of chaotic enemies. Good god. That's nuts.
this <laughs> fucking black hole. Don't mind me. Don't mind me. Just doing a little black hole stuff. Um, right. So, yeah, we can do two gazes. So then, like, attack is really good and relativity of space. I can't imagine there's a time when I wouldn't want to just pop both of these on. That's pretty much good for every fight. Um, the only exceptions would be if I notice they have a lot of energy, you know, specific. Although, I mean, this covers all your bases. Acid, cold, electricity, fire, and sonic. I think basically if they have any sort of spellcaster, energy shield is good. Uh, damage, it's decent. I mean, it would add five to all their damage rolls. It's not, like, insane. Temporal jump, then, would be a little better. It's just a second one added on. But still not amazing. So, yeah, most of the time, that's pretty much going to cover it. Guys, black hole lasts forever. Um, gee whiz. It's still going. It's definitely still going. Yeah, I could just do all this stuff elsewhere. How did I not put legendary proportions on my bar? I think protection from energy communal is basically worthless now with this uh, gaze effects. So that's probably all we care about. Oh, this black hole is so good. Uh, yeah, so we're in pretty good shape. So next time... In the next video, we're definitely going to go out there and do a bunch of these different quests. We're going to go to Chili Creek. We'll go to the ineluctable prison. Um, we'll do Captain Silekind. Yeah, we'll do a bunch of these quests. Uh, the only thing left then is this... I think we're waiting on a logistics reform. Yeah. Um, which is going to be a number of days. At this point, morale doesn't really matter for anything because we've, we've won the war. Lycanthropes. Yeah. Gotta wait 10 days. And this is on a seven day cooldown, so I guess we're just sitting here. Yeah, I mean, nothing's gonna happen. None of this matters. No, none of these, like, temporary buffs matter. We're done with... The, uh, there's a, still an army approaching? All right, I'm not too worried. All right. Shader morale reduces by 35. Yes, 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 yes. That's why we have um, provisions. Amp on the ferry, huh? Level 12 army. 
Uh, uh. There you go. I don't think this really does much. Oh, all right. <laughs> no, nope, doesn't really matter. Oh, that's just an ongoing thing that I can just keep doing? No, then I don't care about that. What about... What about this? Where's my next logistics? Just waiting a few days for that. Oh, Aeon's call. Okay. The pattern of cosmic forces entwined around Galarian hurts your eyes with its imperfection. Chaos, which should not be present, presses on your shoulders like a mountain. It cries out in its strangeness, being completely alien to this world. Perhaps it's time to summon the forces of order to these lands. Launch your counter-invasion to offset the existence of the world wound. On the one hand, it would restore the shattered equilibrium, but on the other, wouldn't it violate the original design that states the material plane must always remain the domain of mortals? Yet the existing breach of the cosmic order is already a violation, is it not? Hmm. All generals... None of this matters! I have no right to make such decisions. Oh, you do have the right to decide. Only you here and now. Alright. It's a mortal realm. These la okay, yeah. The plane of creation reflected in your mirror remains the same, but feels more resilient than before. Your words became a tiny snowflake that fell onto Maelstrom and covered it with a thin layer of frost. Your will is the guardian of the original design. It's done, Commander. The most difficult moment demanded that we make the most difficult decision, and we did. The first requisitions have been made, the warehouses have been resupplied, the soldiers have their weapons and food. The people curse our names, of course, calls the new fellows of the Crusade, except they're back home and we're on the front lines. They couldn't see that we were hanging by a thread. History will absolve us. Because this crisis has taught us to use resources sparingly, we've even ended up with a certain surplus of funds. I propose we use them to build a majestic cathedral. Uh, let's use the money to create a magnificent garden. Uh, all resources must go toward fortifying our defenses. What kind of fortress. None of this matters. We've already won the war. <laughs> Alright, build a cathedral. Strategic victory. End game completed. Yep, I am awesome. I am really awesome. That's it. Strategic victory. 3.8% of players have that achievement. That's really fairly small. 15.5% um, of players have the transformation achievement, which is like finishing their mythic quest line. 
7.6% of players have defeated Koramzida's army in crusade mode, which, if you recall, I just decimated. Um, so half of the people that did that managed to actually develop all four crusade stats of the max. It seems really easy to do so. I mean, overall, the crusade mode was generally pretty easy. I think we had one rough spot, right, where I was just like, fuck this, how do I skip this? Uh, after that, pretty easy. Huh. 18.8% .8 of players finished Act 4 and made it back to Galarian. Huh. All right, I think that's it then. Next time, we'll be going around, doing a bunch of quests, doing a bunch of combat, I'm sure. And it should be pretty fun with all these awesome abilities available to us. Very cool stuff. Follow if you did. For now, though, my name is Mang. Game watching has been Pathfinder Wrath of the Righteous. I'll see you fine folks in the next part.